It's not very often that we get a full-size SUV in the Roadshow Garage, and yet here I am with the 2018 Infiniti QX80. Look, I'm just now getting to the end. That's how big this car is. Now for 2018, Big Bertha got a little bit of a refresh. She's lost her ugly mug, but she's still rocking the same tried and true power plant. So let's get behind the wheel and see if this whale can swim. So the 2017 QX80, let's face it, not so pretty. It was like a panoply of bad your mama jokes. Your QX80 is so ugly, she scared blind children. Well, this year I am proud to report it is so much better. The front fascia has been completely redesigned. There's a new grille, new LED headlights, and it really brings it up into the design language of the rest of the Infinity lineup. The rear has also been redesigned and I like it, it's good, but they've moved the turn signals down into the bumper, which is really weird. It's not really where I look for turn signals to be. And from behind the wheel, I mean, I pretty much turn into a grandma and I am not that old yet. It's just that it's so big and it's so easy to just kind of laze about, tooling around town, luxuriating in the comfort and the high seating position. Don't get me wrong. This car's got a 5.6 liter V8 that's putting out 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. That's plenty of hustle to get up to cruising speed, although competitors like the Lincoln Navigator and the Cadillac Escalade do have more power. All those horses get down to the ground through a very smooth shifting 7-speed automatic transmission. And while I haven't had time to try out 4 low or the tow rating of 8,500 pounds, all signs point to those features being pretty good as well. Regardless of the strong power plant, the QX80 is never really going to win any handling competitions, even with the optional hydraulic body motion control. And that does a pretty good job of keeping this guy flat-ish through the turns, but come on, this thing weighs 6,000 pounds. There's only so much physics you can fight. And speaking of weight, well, that's going to impact your fuel economy. This guy is rated for 15 miles per gallon combined, and during my week we've gotten pretty close to that, 14.6. New for this year is a super cool rear camera mirror that switches back and forth between a digital view and a traditional mirror view. It gives you a great wide angle of what's behind you and it's probably my favorite feature. You can get a second row bench seat bringing the total passenger capacity up to eight, but these captain's chairs are pretty fly. Although I would probably just leave this entertainment package on the table. I mean, don't most kids already have iPads? Access to the third row is pretty easy thanks to the automatically flipping up seats. And once you're back there, I mean, I'm five dime. I got a fair amount of room, but I wouldn't want to spend all day back here. The thing about the QX80 is that it does a lot of things fine. It just doesn't do any one thing really well. If you want something that handles better, well, there's the less expensive Mazda CX-9. The Lincoln Navigator's got all kinds of cool features like a panoramic sunroof, and the Cadillac Escalade has got a pretty nifty cooled center console. Can't find that in the QX80. So why buy the 2018 Infiniti QX80? Well, while it's down just a bit on features, it is also down on price. A two-wheel drive version starts at just under $65,000, while the four-wheel drive starts at just under $68,000. Now, that's a lot of money, but still it is thousands less than the Navigator or the Escalade. Who drives a base model? My kitted out tester behind me here starts at $84,660.